Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini Review Camera Much like Samsung's other mid-tier smartphones in 2013, the Mini comes packed with an 8MP rear camera as well as a 1.9MP front-facing selfie shooter. With it you'll enjoy the full suite of adjustable settings, such as white balance, ISO, exposure, HDR, and a large number of filters and modes. Images at the camera's highest resolution are 4,3, though a 16,9 option is available using 6MP. The user interface should be familiar to anyone who's played with a GS4 or other recent Samsung device. You'll find the shutter keys for both stills and video on the right rail, while filters peek out at you from an arrow at the bottom of the viewfinder. Settings can be accessed either from a button on the top left corner or by pressing the menu key. While the phone doesn't feature a hardware shutter key, the settings allow you to convert the volume rocker into one. As it turns out, there aren't any major surprises when it comes to image quality, either. Pictures tend to be slightly oversaturated, though most of the shots we took were at least detailed. Often, the camera had difficulty reconciling areas of low and high exposure within the same shot, so we had to rely on HDR to balance the two fortunately. Images looked great in this mode, and we didn't hesitate to use it in multiple situations. We were a bit disappointed that the Mini has a shutter lag of roughly 2 seconds, which becomes a problem when you're trying to take pictures of moving objects or children. This was also a concern with the GS4. Low-light pictures look pretty dark on auto settings, but night mode enhances images by grabbing more errant light while also reproducing colors in an accurate way. There's still a lot of noise, although we believe the performance in that regard is on PAR for a device in this class. We were also impressed by the quality of our sample video footage. The rear camcorder records movies at a max resolution of 1080p with 30fps frame rate and 17.1 mbps bit rate. When we played our masterpieces on a computer, it appeared much closer to actual HD quality than what we've seen from comparable devices. Touch focus is an option here, though continuous autofocus is the default setting. We were also incredibly happy with how well the audio turned out, recorded at 128 kilobytes per second with 48 kilohertz sampling rate, in the sample video embedded above, we were situated right next to the loudspeakers, yet the recorded sound was clear and not at all overbearing. Performance and Battery Life the Galaxy S4 Mini uses a 1.7 GHz dual-core Snapdragon 400, MSM8930AB, which is the same 28nm Cry 300 chipset used in the Galaxy Mega, and comes with Adreno 305 GPU and 1.5 GB RAM. It's a responsive handset that comes with few hiccups, though we did see it sputter on occasion when we pushed it with processor-intensive tasks. Otherwise, most people will get the type of mid-range performance expected of a device like the Mini. In fact, this should be right on PAR with the HTC One Mini, though it benefits from having an extra bit of RAM at its disposal. Take a look at the full suite of benchmark tests below, all of which confirm what we suspected, this is very much a mid-range device, and one that will hold up against most things you throw at it, even if it doesn't come anywhere close to its namesake. We had no problem making it through a full day on a charge, we typically had a small amount of the 1,900mAh battery left when it was time to plug the Mini in for bedtime. This was with moderate usage, though, so those of you who are hard on your devices may find that you'll need to give your phone an electric pickup shortly after arriving home at the end of your shift. Our video looping test, which involves running a 1080p video continuously at 50% brightness, with the smattering of other standardized settings, yielded 7 hours and 16 minutes of life before the phone died. Call quality was clear, and we had no problem hearing voices on the other end, thanks to the loud speaker phone and above average earpiece. The GPS tracked our position in a matter of seconds, videos and music played smoothly, and we enjoyed our time listening to media through headphones. On a random note, the vibrate function on the Mini was one of the strongest we've used in recent memory, turn it on and there'll be no mistaking when a new notification has arrived.